Welcome back to my show. My name is Maricela Cornejo and I am a professional boxer. This morning, you guys are gonna be able to join me on what I do every single day, five days out of the week. Usually, yeah, five to six days out of the week. I'll show you guys a little bit of my routine, uh, my workouts, and um, you guys will be my trainer. So let me get my things out and you guys will join me here at Combinations um, Boxing Academy, which is in Hawthorne. Got to get my gloves, shoes, wraps. So yeah, so I do this, um, like I said, about five times a week. Some days are better the, than other. Um, there's days I don't want to come in. It's the honest truth. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't give myself that, um, that choice of should I go in or do I feel like going in? No, I just have to come in. Once your body gets warmed up, you tend to love it a little more. So we are going to be training with my trainer. Hi, Marvin. <laughs> like Marvin. A... Hello. Introduce yourself. My name is Marvin. The famous trainer. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's my trainer. Um, he came from? Came from Russia last December. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he, well, he, he travels everywhere. Yeah. He has fighters, and tomorrow he leaves to New York to have a fighter fight out there. But mm -hmm. um, he's going to train you a little bit, and we're going to show you guys what our routine is. Um, and uh, yeah. Ready? Always ready. Always ready? Let's go. All right. Get my mind together, first of all. And I, this, hand reps. You put this on your hands to protect your hands from the gloves. Um, this thing, you can wrap up your, uh, the hand wraps with your hands, obvio, or use this little thing to speed it up. This is the first step that I always do. Kind of get myself prepared for the workout and the training I'm about to go through. Ooh, I love Grant. Grant, they're the best gloves ever. I have another one over there, which these are 10 ounce gloves and then I train normally with a, the 14 ounce gloves over there. But um, you have all brands, but the only brand you go with is with it. Uh, Grant gloves. Your hand feels so secure with them, truly. All right, so wrapping the hands. Obviously, like I said, it protects your knuckles with the gloves. Um, everybody has their own technique. I just do the layover each one and you'll get better as the time goes or you're like me and you don't, I, I don't think I'm really good at it, but um, yeah, this is something that everybody does who fights. So get myself wrapped up, move around, stretch out. As you age, it gets more difficult to move. Everything hurts a little bit more in the morning. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate. <laughs> Ugh. bag and double end bag that's what I was doing we go to the speed bag this is like kind of a cooling down process before jump roping and uh, some ab work oh no this is too tall so that's a really tough people I mean I'm, a, I'm pretty tall but I'm not that giant yeah. so this one you kind of hit it it's like a choo-choo train that's how it's uh that's how I was trained in um at wild card which was my first trainer so I can shoot you. Boom, 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 boom. You let it hit. Boom, boom, boom. You go with the beat, and then you pick up. You won't be able to. Jump roping. You will. S I think I have like. 
scars on my body of me smacking myself, literally, all over. It hurts so bad, but I still do it to this day. I smack myself with it. Um, you'll get better. The time goes. You still will get uh, big old red marks all over your body with it. Not fun. Warm up. Stay loose. Bounce around. But you need to make sure you give your body the right fuel. After workouts are really important, just like the pre-workout meal. So in the mornings, you know, it depends what you do. In the mornings, usually I, before coming here, I already have a, some miles in. I go for a run, usually some coffee. I don't like to eat before my long run, but after I need to have some uh, carbs to come in here for this workout. So we just admit, get some bag rounds on the bag, double M bag, speed bag, jump rope, and um, and yeah, that's what you call a full day here. Just in the boxing part. And then we got the strength and conditioning, which that's later. That I'll show you guys what I do, and uh, it's fun. I enjoy it because I love it. You have to love it. You have to have to love this work in order to put this work in because it's a lot of work. Bad work. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. Today we have a very special person with me, uh, Nancy Rodriguez, who she is she'll tell you a lot she plays she literally she has so many freaking hats i don't even know where to begin with all her how how she does it number one and uh how many titles she has with the wbc and a part also what she does everything on the side and what she has done for me as well in the sport of boxing um and then we'll go into a little bit more about how we met <laughs> thank you so much for uh for coming on and um telling everybody how what you do number one and how difficult it's been um in or has it been difficult in the man's man's sport man's world really yes. man's uh, world, man's in sport. in boxing um so tell us a little bit how you got started why you got started why you chose boxing and uh what you were doing prior to that really mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna say the same thing you say all the time. I didn't choose boxing, it chose me. I do say that. Right? Yeah, 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 boxing because, chose me. Um, because at the time I was a stay-at-home mom, but I was working in the music industry, getting visas for the bandas to come. You know what a banda is? <laughs> <laughs> the bandas are basically... Tell them. Well, bands, bands, but it... 16 the, people. <laughs> hey, 16 people yeah. are the bands. That's my dream, to come out in one of the fights and have the whole banda. Like Brandon, Brandon had I, that. I did that for yes, him, yeah. yeah. So He's I was cool doing though. that, yeah, I was doing that. And um, then uh, Brandon, obviously, um, and his wife. Brandon Rios. Brandon Rios, Bam Bam Bam, Bam, Bam Rios. Rios, yes. Said, Shout out to you. Woo. You gotta interview him. <laughs> yes, oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, hey, Nancy, why don't you help us in boxing with Brandon's career, with what you do in music? But I loved boxing, but I knew nothing about the business. Mm -hmm absolutely nothing they convinced me and even less about women boxing which oh, we'll, get, we'll get into that yeah, later don't even, i was like <laughs> i want to do anyways i don't know if your fans know what uh pacific avenue is on huntington park okay. it's like a swap meet type of it's like a cruising thing with the mexicans mm -hmm. i got one of those home depot fold out tables we got a bunch of uh, shirts and Mikey the Gar white fold out tables yes. from like Walmart yes okay uh, Mikey Garcia brought his two belts Brandon bought, brought his two belts and nobody knew them but we made banners and then we brought all of our friends like 40 of us pretending that they were in line to get autographs <laughs> That's from what Brandon do, okay. and Mikey <laughs> yeah it was like a whole crowd and That's good. yeah and then after that everybody yeah. started gathering it's like let me take a picture with you who are you I don't know I exactly. don't care but yeah, but, but yeah. exactly yeah. so 
because I didn't know what to do, but it worked yeah. out. It worked out because, so, you know, Facebook had just came out. Mm -hmm. So I feel that at that time, you know, we lost that page, but Brandon was one of the first to like um, blow up mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. at the time. And, and yeah, you know, we did our career. I did my, most of my career with Brandon. Um, so you were doing what with him? What was your role with him? Public relations. Okay public relations okay. with him and but I would little by little I wanted to learn more yeah I, wanted to, I remember the first person I met in boxing was Christina Poncher another she? woman oh, she's nice. the rep, she's the commentator for ESPN and okay. top rank and she saw me nervous she said just get in there you mm -hmm. just got to get in there mm -hmm. and I'll never forget her words because mm -hmm. she always told me I'm always going to support mm -hmm. women and she always mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. she always has and uh, she's awesome she is yeah she is and um and yeah, it's hard. It's just, it's just very difficult. It's just difficult, you know, being a woman in, yeah. in this industry and keeping your, uh, keeping your, what, what is it called? The Dignity? Di yeah, just keep staying true to yourself. Staying true to yourself no matter what people throw at you. It's, it's, it's beautiful to see when women in the industry just continue on to power through and, uh, yeah. don't allow what people throw at them you know it, it may slow you down because the words do hurt and that's why i always say careful with your words words mm -hmm. have power words are very powerful uh don't just throw out words just because you're throwing out words yeah um and uh yeah being in this in this industry and and nancy i've seen it firsthand it, how you know they attack but it's good to not focus on that and just uh continue to do what you're good at and focus on that. People are gonna talk and that's great. They're, that means they're watching. Yeah. So. Um, it's a learning I, process. A absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But just continue to stay focused on your, on what you're good at yeah. and what your goal is and what your dream is and what your vision is and and you've done that. And uh, I mean, I, I and at times we all get you know sidetracked and everything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but um, but you've done such a good job with bringing women I mean one for me mm -hmm. uh, bringing me to the forefront uh, and taking me to that next level on uh, on the PR side mm -hmm. you you have great ideas and sometimes I'm like what are you doing <laughs> you're like trust me it's gonna work it's gonna work <laughs> yeah so so that was your that was your start how did you how did you get involved with the WBC though it's really um Last week was really emotional because it was our six-year anniversary with Supreme Boxing. Mm -hmm. So Supreme Boxing is Supreme what? Boxing is a company Hector and I created um, mm -hmm. after Brandon fought Manny Pacquiao mm -hmm. in China. So after Brandon fought Manny Pacquiao in China, we kind of split up. Mm -hmm. We went our separate ways, and I was ha having a hard time dealing with it. Mm -hmm. I went through a really bad uh, depression through the holidays, and and in January. Um, you know, we just we decided to start Supreme Boxing, which it was hard. Mm -hmm. It was really hard for me to. I was used to working for somebody. I didn't know what to do for mm -hmm. other people, for someone other than Brandon. Mm -hmm. But we did it, and coincidentally, it was so weird. Our first news was Don Jose Suleiman passed away. That okay. was our first post. He was the president of the WBC. Mm -hmm. It's it's really ironic and and at the same time kind of eerie that when he passed away supreme boxing was born um, three weeks later israel vasquez took me to a breakfast with mauricio uh, because supreme boxing blew up really fast mm -hmm. it blew up really fast and and mauricio said i want you to do what you're doing mm -hmm. for supreme boxing but with wbc mm -hmm. uh, I don't want my dad to be called this and that or the WBC. And I made him a promise and I reminded him last week, I made him a promise that I was gonna make his dad shine and be remembered in the most beautiful way mm -hmm. and the WBC too. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and at that time I dedicated uh, most of what I do to the WBC mm -hmm. with, you know, from my heart, everything mm -hmm. from my heart. I wasn't working for them or anything. It was just mm -hmm. kind of like WBC care stuff I was mm -hmm. doing. Yeah, and then, and then they opened an office maybe like six months later in L.A., and then that's when I started working. Oh, really? Working. Yeah. So how long has the office here? So there was never an office in L.A.? It was never. only in Mexico? Yeah. I see. Five years now. Five years now here in here L.A.? Here in L.A. That's awesome, and you were there to begin it all. Yeah, 
that's yeah. cool. But now you've grown within the WBC and mm -hmm. now you're supervising mm -hmm. fights and you're on the ratings board and all these things where yeah. it's crazy that, yeah. that you've moved up. And that's a big deal. That's a big deal to have in, in, in boxing, mm -hmm. especially, I mean, one, mm -hmm. just, yes, uh, being a woman and growing and staying in your on your path mm -hmm. and staying focused and, you know, putting that hard work in and, um, and you've done that. So that's really and in, a, in a fast very fast way that's why people are just like how but it's she's never like a nine to five it's not even nine to five and it's it's a part-time with box with a uh, wbc, WBC is but she's 24 7. she's 24 7. it's never yeah. you know uh, three hours or whatever mm -hmm. it is that you go into work it's 24 7. you're always um giving your all to whatever it is and mm -hmm. especially WBC cares and those things that you guys do aside mm -hmm. um, but the organization WBC I love 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 them mm -hmm. so much because of what they represent for people and for their past champions future champions and for their you know yeah. champions now but for um, the, the champions who have passed away and they need help yeah um, they I've seen yeah. this firsthand where they take care of the the funeral expenses mm -hmm. they help out the families however they can and that's why I I love, love, love the organization um, and what they represent. So uh, I see why you stay so faithful to them as well. Yeah, it's it's hard not to because obviously boxing uh, has its good and bad side, but I choose to see the good side. And if it, the bad side, if I could do something to help change it, I will. But mm -hmm. boxing is a platform that I'm using mm -hmm. to do what my real purpose of life is. Mm -hmm. And my real purpose, um, I've always known since since I was young, or younger, <laughs> um, that uh, you know I, I have to do God's work here. Mm -hmm. So and that doesn't have you know I'm not gonna get paid for that here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come with money. It's something way bigger than that. What is that? It's just Him. You know He mm -hmm. protects me. He protects my children. And I want to be. I want to do His work through the boxing platform, helping people. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody, everybody, um, there's always people that need help. Sometimes they just need to smile mm -hmm. and then they have a better day. Mm -hmm. You know, the other day I went to go speak at a school and I don't know if you've ever spoken to kindergartners, but that's probably the hardest thing to do. I have, I have. <laughs> the yeah. hardest thing to do. So I was like, what am I gonna do? What am yeah. I gonna do? So I had a medal. I had a medal in my bag. Oh, I gave out a medal to a kindergarten student. Really? Side. Yes. Really? And my, and my little niece's. Uh, Probably one of your own medals because you always, I, 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 you always give away your stuff. I am. You always give away your stuff. I know, stuff. but I just, I just, I, I, I know they. It means so much to them also. Like I live it. I, I, I'm. You know, around it now. Maybe later on, be like, dang it, I wish I still had it. Now I'm gonna call up Nancy and say, give me another one. <laughs> I you know, know, right? But I just, I just to see their eyes. It was yeah. actually about. It was a mini okay. belt. Okay. And it was so, one. Oh, it but, was. Yes, it was. Remember, uh, I told yes, you, yes, it was yes. a mini belt, and those are expensive they are. too. They are. It was a mini belt. I told the class. I said, whoever has wh right now, who's the student of the month or mm. the one with the highest GPA? I did not know this, and they. They, uh, the teacher was like, you my life. And that was my little niece. <laughs> I didn't know that. And I was like, oh my God, this was not a setup. So she won the bow. Yeah, so like, it stays in the family. Yeah, it stayed within the family. So I was like, oh, good job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. That so, was a cool little So thing, yeah, but. with the kindergartners real quick, I had a medal, so I got a little girl. I said, come over here. And I'm like, you're going to put this around your teacher because she's a hero and we should recognize them mm -hmm. for what they do. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, I told the I told the kids, how often did you tell your teacher thank you? Mm -hmm. And and they're like looking around, I don't know. So the little girl went and, and put the medal on her and then everybody started clapping and, and I said, Look around you, you see those smiles? That's what makes me happy. Yeah. That's what makes me happy to see those those yeah. type of smiles. And not everybody can do that, Mari. And you're always giving me credit for helping you. Oh, Nancy, help me. Pe people need to understand that you've done so much for me. You know, you've done, you, I think I think we've helped each other mm -hmm. because you helped make me a stronger person and mm -hmm. for me to actually believe in myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure that you see me doing things now and you're like, I can't believe Nancy's doing that. <laughs> because before I wouldn't even get on a stage or I wouldn't get in the ring. Even when you were fighting, I'm like, I wouldn't get in the ring with you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I am proud of you. I am proud of you. 
Oh, yeah. yeah, I am. I am. You have became much stronger, and that's one of the things. That's like sometimes I'm like, I'm like, oh, the guys, you know, when, when I see um, guys out there that have uh, their girlfriends slash wives, I'm like, you don't want them hanging around with me. I'm gonna make them stronger, <laughs> and they're not gonna take it. Yeah. Crap. No, but um, as just just to love yourself, love yeah. yourself, and definitely, it, it, you can't. I don't know. When you really are on that other level of, of knowing true love with yourself, is you can give that out so much mm-hmm. more, and and um, and yeah, that's a beautiful thing to see somebody uh, grow stronger within themselves and, and watch it first. She's hand. probably like, what did I create? No. Huh. <laughs> I'm working with somebody right now that they're 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 going through that journey uh, within, so that's gonna be cool to see uh, in a few. Hopefully a few months. It's not an it's not an easy journey, but once you're there and, and you feel it and you told me this years ago. Mm-hmm. Mari, before, how often would I go to church? And now you you already know I'm there on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. You're like, hey Nancy, when you get out of church, let's go get some coffee because mm-hmm. she know you know mm-hmm. I'm there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that changed because you know that change happened, that growth. Yeah, yeah. You know? It all happens there. Mm-hmm. Um all right. Anything else? What do you have? What do you have? Uh, okay. So Supreme platforms. I didn't even tell the other people to put, put their platforms on oh. on here. But your platforms. What are the platforms that you that people can find you on? Well, you know my baby is Supreme Boxing. Yes, at Supreme Boxing. I will always be posting it as well. Yeah, because so. Supreme Boxing. Um, we're actually going to be announcing the winner soon. Mm-hmm. Um, Albert is going to help me and then they're going to be on that new magazine okay. Boxing, Illustrated. Boxing Illustrated yes be on the lookout for that Boxing yeah. Illustrated is a great magazine it's coming back um, and um, yeah and it has an Instagram now so yes Bo- yeah at Boxing Illustrated as well <laughs> she's a great PR <laughs> so uh, yeah at Boxing no yes. at Boxing Illustrated and then uh, Boxing Supreme Boxing Supreme Boxing all these Boxing 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 days yeah yeah but Supreme Boxing is I always tell people it's it's not mine, it's not yours, it's for the people. It's so for the people, yeah. whenever anybody wants to be posted on there, send us a DM, send us your video, and we'll be happy to post it. Yeah. Now, if you want to be posted three times a week, <laughs> that we, can work, we can work something out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, anything else you want to add on? No. I mean, I wish we would have talked about our road trips. Those would have been fun. Oh yeah. There's many stories. There's many more stories <laughs> that. No, oh, we didn't even really say how how we met. Really quick, just to, we met at a in Tijuana, in Tijuana. Wait, about can you go back to many? when I offered a ride first to Tijuana? Oh yeah, she offered a ride, and then I said no because I didn't want to ride in the car with strangers. I didn't know who they were. She'd rather like, waste money on spending. Like a, no, I'd rent rather a car. drive. Yeah, I rented a car and I drove over there for the first time. I've never driven to Tijuana, and I was like. It was Jill and you, right? Yeah. Wasn't, no, yeah. it wasn't Jill. Oh, Jen. It Jennifer. was Jen. Yes, Jennifer. and I wish I would have taken up that ride because that would have been awesome. Yeah. But, uh, but I did meet them out there, mm-hmm. and um, and I had won the WBC International in Miami. That's why I reached yeah. out to Jill Diamond, and she contacted me with the LA office, yeah. which was so crazy to now be like thinking about all that, how nervous I was. Mm-hmm. And, all this stuff man oh the beginnings of things are so beautiful yeah. um but, jill told me to help you she actually yeah, asked me to help yeah, you yeah 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 she's awesome yeah. um but yeah we met yeah, out in tijuana and then from there it was just she was like oh, what is women women's boxing i know she knew nothing really about i knew women's nothing boxing. about women's boxing and I, and really to be honest i wasn't she wasn't interested, interested no I wasn't but i wasn't interested. and i was i think i think what did i tell you I, was i trying to get you to help me or yeah was, you were and i ignored you for a couple months and no, then we went to I? new zealand yeah you were you oh well me. mauricio sent you out to new zealand with me <laughs> <laughs> for our world title yeah so that was that that's was that's a whole cool. other segment yeah she made me walk up the hill and it's just uh, we have a lot of stories to yeah. share yeah but thank you thank you so much for coming on and i'm sure you guys will see her again but until next time we'll see you next time thank you so much for tuning in my name is Ronnie Cornejo goodbye